Biden's border is wide open, no doubt about that. Every day we bring you brand new Fox News video that exposes the crisis. There's literally thousands of people coming in per day. And 20,000 more waiting in Mexico to cross once Title 42 ends. But if you dare point that out, the Biden White House now thinks you're working with the cartels and spreading misinformation. I want to be very clear here. Uh, the fact is that the removal of Title 42 does not mean the border is open. Uh, anyone who suggests otherwise is simply doing the work of these smugglers who, again, are spreading misinformation. The border is not open. And so I want to be very clear about that because we were doing the smugglers job if we spread misinformation. But the White House better tell these Democrats who've been critical of Biden's open border that they're colluding with human smugglers. This is a humanitarian crisis. Uh, we need to acknowledge that. Uh, we need to ensure that we have a plan in place. Clearly, it's a huge concern all along the South Texas border. Last year, we calculated that cartels had made $5 billion bringing people to our southern border. You know, people are, are understanding across the world that the, back, the southern border is open. So, Judge, this is, reminds me of that game they played with Russia. Remember, if you said anything, oh, you were, you're a Russian, yeah. you're, you're a sympathizer. Yeah. Now yeah. you're a, a smuggler sympathizer. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's amazing is it's not, it, it's almost as though, it, it, don't believe your lying eyes. And if, you know, even if Title 42 goes away, you know, it's still going to be a closed border. But the truth is that the border's open now with Title 42. Somebody ought to figure out the smart way to do this thing would be to have their hearing right then and there to determine whether or not they're deserving of asylum and keep them in Mexico or keep them somewhere in detention because they're illegally crossing over in this country and then make a decision. Uh, do they have a significant, substantial asylum claim? She is gaslighting the American people, Karine Jean-Pierre. She's been doing it. Mayorkas does it. They all do it. They say the border's not open. The border is so open, it's pathetic that small towns are being overrun. And, you know, the amazing thing is they're saying, oh, no, Title 42 is keeping people out. And But even if when Title 42 goes away, because it's no longer a pandemic, the truth is that we're still going to keep it closed. Are you kidding me? You're fighting in the Supreme Court yeah. to get Title 42 out so that they can come in. We're seeing people in foil there, those foil blankets, tens of thousands of people, a half a million in one sector since October. This country is being invaded. So this is now telling the truth is spreading misinformation, Dana. Right. So you might as well cancel the whole media then. <laughs> I guess I guess we just don't need any journalists then. Is nope. that what they're saying? Also, we mentioned the like the Russian communist sympathizer. It's the same. If you disagree with us, you're letting the terrorists win. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work, especially because in this case, you actually just have the video. As you said, don't believe your lying eyes. We see every single day for two years. We've been doing America's newsroom. They keep coming across. And how many of them have ever said, wow, I would really like to thank the Republicans for helping us get in here. <laughs> no one has ever said that. Uh, uh, but they're like, thank you, Joe Biden. Thank you, Joe Biden. Now, that could be the smugglers themselves who have marketing materials, TikTok pages, Facebook pages, trying to get these migrants to pay up to take them across. And then maybe, you know, the migrants are being hurt by the smugglers. The Biden administration is actually helping the smugglers by not stopping them. Not only are they not stopping them, but they're not uh, stopping the fentanyl. Did you see that report today of how much fentanyl is in the United States yes. right now? Yes. And it's not stopping in any way. It could kill all of us. It, that's how much is out, out there right now. And there's nothing that they're doing to stop it. Uh, they're still paying, I think, for trying to put Kamala Harris in charge of the border because she said she was going to do something about it. She said she was going to do uh, the root causes. And then she touched the hot stove of media criticism and she backed off completely. And they've had no one doing anything. The last thing I would say is Will Hurd, who is the, a former congressman from that area, he actually said today on Newsroom that he is for the firing of Secretary Mayorkas. This is a very mild-mannered kind of guy, understands government. But he said that they have completely dropped the ball for the American people down there and that someone has to be held accountable. And the cartels are having the best two years they've ever had financially. Yeah, and apparently we're helping them by saying that the border's open. Mm -hmm. But this ha this thing has happened over and over. It's, it's a, actually, you almost don't blame the Biden administration for taking this tack because the media lets them get away with it. It's always the Biden administration does something wrong. They deny that they did it wrong. Then when you bring it up and you point it out, they say, oh, no, you're the one who is causing it because you're talking about it. 
did you guys play the the Martha Raddatz clip yes. where she was on, yes. with Go Governor Abbott? And she said to Governor Abbott, obviously the talking points have been out there because she kind of yep. played right into it. She said, well, Governor Abbott, uh, President Biden never says that there's an open border, border, but you say it all the time. So aren't you the problem? And he was kind of like, you know, he almost didn't know how to answer that. He, like, he should have said, are you kidding me? Right. Like, me saying what is obvious is causing the problem? No. So we all know that the border's open. They are going to continue doing that. If the media lets them get away with it, they'll do it again with every other issue. And, uh, I forgot to mention, if you, all you have to do is go back to the campaign of 2020, and all the Democrats, including Biden, con all consistently said that they were going to do everything the opposite of Trump when it came to immigration. And they have. Yeah, he said, come, come to the border, rush the border. I'm going to have Abbott on tonight on Jesse Waters' oh, primetime. Maybe he could discuss that. I'm sure he will. Is this a problem, this, this, this new uh, excuse? Are you guys yeah. going to have to retire that? It's not a you guys thing, it's the White House. And that's really what you're seeing here. There are two issues where I feel like the White House has been starkly out of line with the rest of the Democrats. It's in how they talk about the border and then also how they were talking about the economy and inflation. I mean, regular Democrats who are out on the campaign trail were saying things like, gas costs too much. When you go to the grocery store, it's, it's too much. This is unsustainable. We've got to do something about it. And then you would hear from the press secretary that everything was fine, or the president would even say, well, our inflation you know, levels are so much better than all of these other countries. For some countries it was true, some others it didn't. But either way, it defeated the, the most common principle of politics, which is don't tell people that their lived experience isn't the real experience of what's going on, especially when you can see it in this circumstance. And I remember when Title 42 got upheld by the courts. Remember how many Democrats we were talking about? The relief of these Democrats that the courts had taken care of it so that it could continue until we had a decent policy. And even left-wing people who, you know, want a more, quote, humanitarian solution to all of this don't want Title 42 to go away until we have a viable solution. And I don't know if the Tillis Cinema bill is the answer to that or something else, because that has, you know, the pathway for dreamers and also 25 billion in border security. But we can't get rid of Title 42 until there's some solution. All right, well, you personally tell Pierre that I said it's time to retire that excuse. You I, personally tell her that. I, we have the Just same access. Just let her access. know I said that that thing's toast. <laughs> and Up is next. it 25 billion for the wall? Yeah. Or something else. It's in, like what? Like cookies? Uh, yeah, like the technical right. things that they're using. Yeah, we know the games you guys are playing from enough. Crossing. Dirty Democrat it's ridiculous. games. Ridiculous. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.